Okay, let's bow our head and pray. My dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving such a wonderful evening. And also I thank you for bringing us here. And I also actually pray for the children who gathered up here, O oh Lord. Let your presence be with them. Whatever that we meditate today, let those words talk to them. Put the right words on this meditation, O oh Lord. You be with us till the end of the full day today. Thank you. Praying in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Get ready with the mic. If you the mic, right? Okay. We will start with a little bit of icebreakers today. Again, I continue to talk about the stand for God, but this time it's a little different. I'm not going to talk about anybody uh, who, 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 I, who have been the business guy and all, but today it's a little different. We'll move on, yeah. Okay, Jumble, you have to crack it, okay? So you need to tell the name of those guys who are hidden here. You have to tell each of them, okay? A lot of clues inside. If you find who they are, then you will be able to find each of them. The best clue is that if you find who they are, then you can find each of them. Get, get ready with the mic. They are the disciples. Are they? Oh, you cracked it. Okay. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, you can leave actually the easy names for the kids, okay? Matthew. M Matthew, okay. Matthew. Simon Peter. Sorry? Simon Peter. Ah, uh, Simon Peter, okay. The first one. John, okay. Philip. Phillips, okay. Few more. Keep going. James. James, okay. Got one more. Few more. Thomas. You, if you, Thomas, yeah. If you know all the disciples, then you can say without even looking at it. Praise God. Come on. Bartholomew. Sorry? Bartholomew. Yeah, Bartholomew. What's the other name of Bartholomew, you know? Nathaniel? <laughs> Few more. Do you want me to go to the answer directly? Want to give it a try? Some more time? Okay. Still you want to take time or we can move on to the answer? Okay, we can move on then. Let's move on to the answer. Okay, these are the 12 disciples. Uh, you all know about them. But I still want to hear a few more from you. Can you pick actually one of the disciples uh, from here and just say like one statement or few words about your disciple for me? At least, I want at least two or three of you to give it a try. That way it will be more interactive. James and John were one of the main disciples of Jesus Christ and they were brothers. Yep. What was their profession or occupation? They were fishermen. They were fishermen. Good. Judas Iscariot bet bet betrayed Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Still a few more. Want to give it a try? Just pick one of the disciples and talk a couple of things that you know about them. Uh, Simon Peter denied Jesus three times. Okay. <laughs> A lot of positives are there. Good. Tom, Thomas uh, wanted to touch Jesus and he also went to India. 
out of actually four right three things are not actually the positive things is this right i heard actually four things from you guys one said betrayal other one talked about the confirmation i one and only if i touch the side of the jesus then only i believe then other one said that who said that i don't know who jesus is right good thomas doubted jesus okay <laughs> fantastic i think yeah there, there are 12 disciples they lived for uh, they lived for uh, for god and also they were been the testimony for us so since actually this is the first week just after the resurrection so i thought of actually picking up this topic for uh, some time so that uh, we will see like how the transformation have happened on those disciples that's all i think we are going to see let's move on to the next slide next slide is again actually more interactive okay it's it's i'm not going to actually talk more you you have to speak okay just i put actually around seven different incident or the seven different occasions you pick actually one of the occasion and you talk about that who from those disciples were involved in these occasions you are able to read right is it visible or oh, okay just pick up uh, one each and talk about that who was involved in that occasion james and john were known as the sons of thunder yep why they were called as the sons of thunders because they had lots of power in the fishing industry yeah and also especially uh, when jesus was trying to enter into the samaria and people from samaria didn't allow jesus and disable to enter so these two guys they were showing the anger in front of the group and they said that bring the fire as like how elijah brought right and make these people to move away from the way so they showed that anger so from that onward jesus started using this name in in few occasions and whenever he talks about these brothers okay one gone we have six more anyone would like to give it a try walked on water with jesus who 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 was walking along with jesus on the water simon peter okay uh disciple who jesus loved the most there are few instances a uh, few they cover talk about that there is one disciple jesus loved the most there are core team also and one disciple he liked the most among those john the apostle then we have denial of knowing him three times he denied again simon peter then confession of jesus as the messiah when jesus was asking who am i then you all know that right um simon peter said that you are the messiah the son of god then what else is missing here disciple oh go and make pre- preparation for us to eat the passover jesus actually requested kind of little bit or ordered or commanded to simon peter and john to go and i think simon peter and james to make the preparation for us to eat passover this is this is the last supper so he was actually giving some work to those two disciples there is last one right raising of jairus daughter transfiguration of jesus then agony in the garden of gethsemane so all these three incident when we talk about these are the major incidents from the bible especially in the four gospels all these three incident jesus was carrying or jesus was actually having only three disciples along with him that's a core team john the apostle james the apostle and simon peter so if you look at it as a disciple they all were involved in many different occasion as more of your follower of the jesus 
and they were just listening to jesus sometimes they showed the human characteristics of angerness um eager to know what's happening and wanted to be part of the jesus journey and they were actually trying to understand what's happening around them so they were actually showing a lot of actually human things when they were actually following the jesus as disciples that's how actually their life was there till the time the resurrection happens so that's the reason i would like to actually give the perspective of like what those disciples were so now we are going to see how they are going to transform suddenly the transformation is exactly happening in this time because just after the resurrection the transformation happened let's move on as apostles the previous slide is now actually completely getting transformed into a new slide in such a way that they are all actually becoming the apostles just after the resurrections once jesus appeared in front of them this transformation is happening we all know that right pillars of the church um paul referred a couple of times that john and simon peter were the pillars of the church because you i mean some of them are not mentioned in the bible but eventually the rome was actually fully managed or fully controlled or fully actually taken over by peter he was actually establishing lots of churches around the rome when it comes to jerusalem and the other side john was taking care of it so they were ensuring that they built the churches and they start actually talking about the jesus and they were actually playing the pure role of apostles they were ensuring that the worthy of the jesus is spread across the places by building the churches that's what they were called by that name then the next one if you look at it right what james did james was traveling throughout the galilee he was actually preaching about the jesus and keep encouraging others to accept the jesus so that other portion right galilee was actually controlled or kind of actually taken over by james and they were making sure that people understand jesus and they were start actually preaching about the jesus and finally they started actually bringing the salvation portion of it across the countries the third one right peter was sent out with john to preach about jesus in samaria the previous slide i talked about what was what happened in samaria right that's that's the place they got the name the the, the thunder right the, the the same place now john was going and started preaching so they were all actually now transforming in, in over the period of just few days and they started directly going towards the people and they played the perfect role of apostles to ensure that they preach the jesus and they will make they were making sure that jesus is the son of god and they ensured that the message is spread across the places then the fourth one right they were strengthening the churches in jerusalem and finally right now they were preaching now beyond preaching now they have to start using uh, the gift of god i mean uh, i would say that that they they have to actually start doing something beyond the preaching right so there were so many instances i put few instances right when peter uh, peter brought the uh, uh, dabita back to the life uh, she she was actually call, uh, call called up called up by the other name i think uh, uh, dorkas right so she, he brought her back and at the same time peter also was bringing that uh, Ainaya from the church and he was actually the eight years he was sitting in front of the church without moving he was ensuring that he he was bringing him back to the normal so that's a kind of actually the life that they have been going through as an apostle then finally we all know about John the apostle right uh, just just because of him we have the revelation right now and we all know that what's going to happen for us so so he brought that wonderful chapters for us so if you look at it right all these three apostles now 
played their different role just after the resurrection so that's the reason if you see the previous slide i was talking themselves as more of actually the um disciples now they are actually transforming here as an apostles so this is exactly the week just after the resurrection right so we have to understand that what that apostles means it is something that we will still continue the job that they have left for us that's what that's i wanted to pick it up for a few minutes and and if you look at in depth uh, when you actually go in front of the jesus you have to act or you have to be a kind of disciples or when you come to the church or when you are in the sunday school when you listen from the pastor or listen from the sunday school teachers you are like a disciples because you are actually trying to understand like what is right and what is the power of god and how we need to actually portray the existence of the god all those things that are happening here so as a students or as actually the teen this is the age for you to actually grab a lot of things in you to to understand what's happening around you so once you start understanding those things from your church or from your parents or through various ministries then you will slowly start transforming so this transformation you will not realize it right now because at one point in time you will actually start going away from the control of everyone or going away from the eyesight of actually all of us then the transformation has to happen you guys are actually getting ready for the transformation it doesn't mean that uh, uh, you you don't need to actually do the ministries right now this is the kind of the, the ministry which you are currently going through is is something that you are actually watching out on what's happening around you if we talk about our own church you guys are participating that senior uh, living ministry and track ministry homeless ministry and uh, park ministry and city uh, peace ministry all this ministry if you see that right you are all actually traveling with us in many different occasions and you are actually seeing what's happening around you and also especially when you come to church right you 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 hear a lot of messages preaching from the pastors and also from your uh, sunday class aunties right so this is the time right get 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 all these things in you because uh, you don't know like what's happening to you this is exactly that uh, disciples have done they 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 carried the things without knowing that they are carrying a great things in them that's the same thing that we are also actually going through the life especially in this time especially you all right so by the time when you move out then you have to actually play the role of apostles being disciples at the same time play the role of apostles in front of the people who do not know the jesus or in front of the people who are against the jesus or in front of the people who actually try to bring our god down that's the time that you have to play the role of apostles because you have lot of power in you you will not be able to actually expose it right now because you are in the disciple state but when you move out you will be able to establish especially in school and colleges also in front of the people if you start actually thinking yourself as an apostle you you are powerful because you got a lot of power from the god and you 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 actually have a lot of actually various ways of actually tackling people by spreading the goodness of our god and also to prove the existence of the god just bring those pointer in front of them by having these apostles in mind okay because what they did is extremely good finally right that they had a faith in the god the, that faith was actually making them to actually go through this uh, transformation phase because of that right the, the small portion of that uh, 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 the jews all those things are now actually converted as the christianity and christianity is being actually the top most actually the religions from the count standpoint those just happen only through those disciples we'll move on finally what these 
these what happened to these three disciples right we we talked about the peter a lot whatever the things that he did and he was not believing and he was actually uh, telling everybody that he doesn't know jesus three times but finally how how he actually gave his life for god though we don't have the reference in the bible but this is actually confirmed right he was actually crucified upside down many of you know that right just like inverted put that uh, cross in an inverted way and he actually gave his life because he doesn't want to actually show the world that i was also actually giving my life like uh, jesus because he he wants to put himself down and then he did that when we talk about the uh, james i think he is the first apostle who was actually killed in the journey of this transformation at his age of i think 46 i think he was actually killed just in front of the people he was axed using the sword in front of herod just to please the people please that israel people as like how they please the people for by giving our god right likewise the james was james was also actually killed in front of the people then john we all know that right they put him on actually the oil fry but he he came out of it finally they put him on a patmos that's the place that he was actually writing the full uh, revelations for us so finally if you look at it the way that they started the life as the disciple and ended their life as an apostle for the god right that is a transformation is is waiting for you it's all yours you can take what you learned and it's all for you to take it forward and play the role of apostles in the future let us pray my dear heavenly father thank you so much for giving such a wonderful time once again and whatever the, the word that we meditated oh god we strongly believe that it's all you who are talking through us oh god those words should should actually talk to each of them who came here oh god let your presence be felt through this meditation oh my father god thank you so much for being with us and i'm praying for the children they have been continuously coming here and 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 hear the words of you oh father god and they have been praising you through their songs and all their talents just give them the double portion oh my father god enable them to be more and more talented and start using that talent for you oh father god i'm just praying for every other children in our church to become a prayer warrior let them start actually having the thirst to do something for you let them all start bringing the souls for you oh father god i'm praying for every children to reach the level where they can actually control the loss of the country and put the loss in favor of the christianity oh father god i really beg you oh father god let your presence be with everybody who are in my church all my young children lead them through the holy way oh father god put your angels wherever they go put your angels to take care of them oh father god we are just 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 putting all ourselves down in front of you oh father god we completely actually surrender ourselves in front of you oh father god let your presence be with us till the time we come back here and all your presence all the prices goes to you oh father god praying in jesus name amen